Well, sun should be coming up shortly, and I've been a little bit busy over the last few days, kind of gathering some things and wanting to extend the base. Now, I've got this little edge out here with no roof, and then since then I actually added uh, two bits of floor out there, two more walls. So we're gonna turn this into a two by two area over here, and then we'll have this kind of one by one entrance. So we're getting there, we're expanding. Now, cordage, um, is a little hard to come by. It's not coming in as fast as I would like. I was thinking as I sat down today, there is a shortage of cordage. Her, her. <laughs> so anyway, I would definitely like to get more of that. Now, somebody mentioned in the comments, and oh, I'm completely zoning who, but somebody had just told me today, uh, by the time you're seeing this, it would have been days ago, that I should be putting ash, I should try ash in here. And sure enough, that was good for fertilizer. Now, I put in 50, for every 50 I put in, it added 40%, so it's about 8 per every 10 you put in. So anyway, we, I did that twice, uh, which got us to 83 from 3%. I think I threw in just a, like a couple or something. So anyway, this is, this is good because we had a lot of ash. Um, and we know that 100 would get this pretty much to 80% from nothing. So I didn't put all of this in. Um, but we have water, we've got fertilizer, so hopefully these come along a bit faster now. Um, that would be great. Um, now let's see it was also mentioned can i or at least was asked if i could grow um, a plant that could get me cordage or something along those lines um maybe that could be a thing um i've actually been wanting to look at the seeds that i have we have tomato seeds the cotton plant seeds i've got those two planted and i i guess i don't have anything else i thought maybe um we might be able to get some now here's what i don't know Maybe this is obvious and I missed it, I'm not sure. But from the cotton, can I do cordage? I'm not sure. Because I'm certainly not getting cotton, right? Off the ground, I'm not picking up cotton to use for clothing or anything. So I'm assuming that's a thing? <laughs> but I'm not entirely sure. So what is the plan today, Weem? Well, what I wanna do is I actually wanna get around and see if there happens to be any other hunters around? I did take a look around last night uh, looking for campfires again and I just see the one near me. Um, since you were here last time and we uh, went and fought the guy down below, I uh, ran around another day gathering things and actually attacked and killed him again. But he really hadn't progressed very far and I didn't get much from him so I'm kind of thinking about leaving him alone for a bit. I think that'll be kind of the thing to do for now. But what I want to do is um, I guess I don't really have any other ammunition. I thought that I might be able to do something there, but I think I'm gonna have to go gather um, more ammo on the way. So I'm gonna go run around a bit, gather some cordage, look for some ammo, and who knows, maybe we'll r run into another hunter. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna go ahead and take both of these guns and uh, start heading out. Now, um, he, our first hunter, pal he's like over there somewhere um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of head towards our mountain here and then i think i'm going to loop around because there's some edges like i can't see over that hill and there's another hill over there i can't really see behind so i think that's where the exploration is going to begin um is to cruise up into the mountains so so i'm basically going to keep an eye out cordage is just the thing that i want the most of right now so that's what we will definitely be keeping an eye out for. Um, it's funny because um, Shirley asked in the comments uh, <laughs> if, or she thought it was funny that you had to use cordage for building. And I was kind of agreeing. It is, it is a little odd. I'm sure we could like find a way to justify it. Like you've got to bind together boards and stuff in order to, you know, nail them down or something. I don't, I'm not really sure. Um, all I know is that I do need cordage for more building and I want to build more on my base. I want, that's like one of the things I really enjoy in these games is base building. And I feel it's been very slow paced for me. Um, and it comes down to cordage. <laughs> Curse this cordage shortage. That might be the title of this video. I think I might have to do that. Check this place out. Just kind of doing my walkabout. Somewhat near the border here you can see the fence. I ran across this place. This is pretty cool. Just this kind of, I don't know if I'd call it a cave, but we've got some structures like this uh, around, but not as deep as that. That's kind of cool. That's got plenty of room to build inside of there. That's a pretty cool spot. 
I don't think I'll move there anytime soon, but I really do like my place. It sounds like some of you also have, who are playing this, uh, have built in the exact same area that I'm on, on the hill, or nearby. Um, so I do think that's a pretty cool spot. It seems like I'm not alone, but I do like that back there. I do like that kind of area, that kind of protection, I guess. I don't know what it's protection from, I suppose. <laughs> but it makes you feel better, right, in these kind of games when you can build in a place that's got some kind of natural walls or, you know, roof, something along those lines. It's a pretty cool spot. Um, so far I've been finding um, some of the materials for cordage okay. I think I've made like three or four of them now, so that means I've got six or eight of the fibers. Um, I'm sure I could do a better job of spotting them, but um, so far it hasn't been too bad. I have picked up some boxes as well. Nothing too crazy. A little bit of ammo here and there. Uh, looks like I might have had some more now that I'm reloading. Two more bullets there. Um, I might be able to make rifle ammunition at this point, um, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's take a peek at that really quick. Uh, rifle? No, I've got one. So I could make a bullet or a, um, a pistol round, but I kind of want to get some rifle rounds going. They're a bit more expensive. Let's see here. Got a box over here. The fence is still nearby. Or, not a box. Metal. I thought it was the top of a box. Let's see, so base is there. In the distance. Our hill is over there. So we're definitely getting around the map here. I think pretty soon we're going to hit an area that I've been to before. Um, or I've already explored, kind of up ahead here. Uh, though it has been a few days since I've been out in this spot. Um, I thought I saw a box. This happens to me a lot. I'll see a box, and I'll be like, okay, I'm going to go get that in just a second. And then, like, a few seconds go by, and I'm like, wait, where to go? <laughs> I completely lost it. Um, I think there was a crate back there, but that's okay. Now, I did get a full-blown cordage from um, a medical uh, drop. So that was, that was cool. If I had got that before, I guess I hadn't really thought about it. Um, but when I picked one up, I was like, oh, you can actually get... Uh, cordage out of a medical bag which is a bummer because I think I've skipped like two medical bags so far they were kind of out of the way but I was like yeah I'm okay on medical stuff but now I'm like ah oh, I think I gotta get all of them it's like two fibers there so let's see anything obvious down there no not so much I definitely haven't seen any other hunters or anything there hill over there Barely see the uh, base walls. Okay, let's cruise over here a bit farther. I think, yeah. Let's see. I've been on top of the rocks over there. I'm, I'm almost positive. So, getting back into some familiar territory. Well, I circled around my base and almost walked right into this guy's camp. This should be the same guy. Yep, same guy we uh, ran into before. But now, he has walls all the way around. There he is. Um, I would take him out and try to see how things have been progressing, but um, I just have the seven bullets. Let me take a peek. Can I make rifle rounds at all? Um, nah, almost. Even then, it would just be the one, right? That's unfortunate. Um, there's a box there I want to get. I don't know. I might be able to take this guy out if I get right up on him and make sure that I'm actually like hitting him pretty well. But he could also just end up dropping me. Um, I could try to sneak up on him from the from the back. I don't know. Maybe it could be a thing. But if I die, then I'm right here. All my stuff is on the ground. Ooh, I'll take that. <laughs> so anyway, I might actually go back to base with all this stuff because I also left carrying a bunch of things I didn't want to be uh, bringing along. So I think that's what we'll do because we're not too far away. You can see it's just right on top of the hill there. So. I'm going to backtrack, drop some stuff off. Maybe we'll build a little bit onto the base. And then, um, I don't know, I, may, maybe we go out after him. I'm not sure. Uh, I hear you, buddy. I'm trying to run through. No, oh, leave me alone. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed when I came in at the opening of this episode. Oh, no. Run, Weem, run. Uh, but there was some broken up uh, flooring. Get in here, Weem. Open the door. Ow. Jump. Close the door. Ow. Oh my god! 
Oh, dang it. I didn't want to have to do that. You made me do this. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. I was gonna say, what I was trying to say was, I don't know if you noticed my floor was a bit broken up. I had a bit of a bear incident one night. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, well, that was kind of a waste. I didn't want to use the bullets on him, but that's okay. I've also been a bit hungry, so we'll take this meat and... Wait a second. We just got fat? And like one liver? I thought you were level three. I thought you'd have some good meat on you. Anyway... We're going to go ahead and uh, get this cooking, and actually, you know what, the sun's probably going to be going down here a bit. I think what I'm going to do is gather a bunch of wood, now that I'm just back here, I'll gather a bunch of wood and uh, start cooking when night falls, because I'm going to be running the wood burner then anyway. No sense in running it just yet. Um, so yeah, we'll wait. Okay, the sun is setting, so let's go ahead and get started on this. Um, I'm actually going to break a wall down. We're going to take this guy out and open this up a bit and I should have enough materials to get at least all the walls I need up um, that shouldn't be a problem I don't know about the roof at that point but uh, as you can see we've got a couple walls here let's go ahead and do this now there's that one and this will go solid walls somebody had mentioned you know the hunters can probably shoot through the windows and I was like oh great now I don't feel safe at all <laughs> windows everywhere because I wanted to have a good view. So anyway, I figured I would get some solid walls going on. It's probably a good thing. Um, yeah, so let's see what else we need. Um, I want to do a roof, right? What do we need? Three? We need three. We're probably going to get some materials from this wall as well. I guess I could just go ahead and take this down right now. Uh, because then we'll know what we're working with and whether we can do more. I did get a little bit more cordage. Um, so, yeah, we might be able to do a bit more. I was a little afraid the roof was going to come down. Um, let's see. Let's get into this. Uh, we need here roof. What did roof take? Ooh, no cordage on the roof. Excellent. One, two. Okay, so I just need a few more um, planks, but I have plenty of wood for that. You can see I've got plenty. So we'll do up a few of those. What was the roof again? Um, how many of those? It took four. So these two will get us the third roof, and then we'll be set there. Let's go ahead and get a fire going. Um, let's go ahead and ignite, throw these matches in. We are out of fuel. Yep, that went out. Um, let's see, I kind of want to hang on to some, at least. <laughs> okay, so there's fuel. We'll go ahead and ignite this guy. And we're going to throw in the liver. I also did scoop up a chicken while I was running around. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and kill the chicken cook the chicken. Wait, we have to prepare it. I forgot about that. <laughs> Got some feathers there. We'll cook the chicken. Render the fat, right? Get that going. Cool, so we have some heat going. Let's go ahead and put the roof up now. And let's see. Something like that. But we want to rotate it. Now it's going to be weird because of the way this ang is angled to put some next to it, but that's okay. I'm not really worried about how cool it looks <laughs> ideally I should have done like a ceiling so I could uh, get a ladder and walk up there but I don't know I mean part of me was like well I could tear it down um, but man resources are hard to come by at least for now uh, let's see can we get that other roof in now yes cool so we're gonna have some good space to work in here two by two with the extra one at the entry I think is pretty good um, I'm just going to take a peek around really quick. So we got dude's campfire over there. Just make sure and see if I can't see anybody else. Yeah, I don't see anything. So when I was running around as well, I know it's really dark, sorry. <laughs> when I was running around, I was also noticing that crates and the boxes don't seem to drop that frequently around the edges of the map. Um, nor do a lot of the plants grow in there. So I think it's kind of a good idea and what I ended up doing was coming in closer to my base here, the hill, and just circling the hill. Um, I only did kind of a semicircle because I was just coming back before nightfall, but I think that would be the idea is to kind of run around the, like do a circle around the central area of the map versus going out to the edges. Just not, not as productive. Okay, so let's see. Um, Trying to think of things I can like drop off here. I didn't scoop. I did scoop some metals. 
I guess we pick those up. I don't have a shotgun right now, so I don't need to carry that around. Um, let's check in on our plants. So all this is good. These are slow going. Really slow. So I could do some upgrades. Um, but I don't have the materials for those was the thing. That's right. Can't do that yet. I don't have 25. Do I have 18? I don't think so. Yeah, we really need to get the... Um, uh, the refinery. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, let me think of it. And you know what? Um, <clears throat> I think we're actually close to that, right? 12 square metal, is that a thing? Oh yeah, we definitely have that. Um, so if we make some planks, ooh, this could be very cool. One, two, three, four. Of course I burned through all the other planks. Um, but they're easy enough to get. Let's look at this again. Um, we need 10. And we're only going to have four. So, yeah, that's actually not bad. Um... The refinery would definitely help, right? Let me think about that. These are these are fragments. Actually, can I get? It does say refined. Okay, let's say, can I get fragments from a refinery? I'm guessing so. Alrighty. Well, anyway, I'm gonna stand here next to the heat, get this food cooking. Um, I think I'll go ahead and make the uh, roof if I can. Not yet. Yeah, we got to use all of these. So maybe first thing in the morning, that's what I'll do. It's a little bit too cold to be running around. I've already gathered the wood off of all the trees nearby. So that's, I think, finishing out the roof um, and the refinery is going to be a project for just a little bit later, sometime during the day tomorrow. Okay, the gathering is complete. I just scooped up scrap metal out of there. Oh, I have an extra roof, I just realized. I made one too many. <laughs> uh, oh, well, we'll use that in the future, right? At some point, we're just going to drop that in there. So, I believe I have everything I need. Let's check this out. Uh, refinery, yes. Look at that, we got power and everything. Let's, let's, um, let's do this. Okay, so all the power is drawn. That's all gone now. We'll get some of that back. Let's get this made. We'll put it down and we will do some experimenting. See how this thing works. Boop. Okay. Let's take this here. We've got number three. So, this is the refinery. Um... Let's see, now this might put out heat for all I know. I don't know for sure, but it may. And this guy puts out heat, but it runs out back in this corner somewhere, like right around here. I'm a little too far away from it. So I think I might actually just stick this in the corner here. Um, let's see, okay, so that's the front. I'm just gonna angle this. I'm gonna sit it back here in the corner. Something like this. And it can clip through, so I wanna pull it forward a bit. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's open this. Okay, refine. It's got some upgrades, additional lens, split the core. Wait, whoa, splits the core laser. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Right, malnourished. Weem, you need to be eating. <laughs> I'm so terrible at this. Oh man, you guys who watch me know, eating is not my thing. Okay, so um, I'm not entirely sure how this works. It looks like, I mean, I can turn it on. I'm assuming it pulls some kind of power. Maybe I put metal in here. Um, this is the kind of thing I could very easily look up, but I just want to experiment a bit. And if it takes me more than just a little bit to figure out, then I will look it up. But in the meantime, let's try some stuff. Potassium, I kind of want the iron, yeah, and the copper, right? And then I actually am curious about the um, fragments, if they do anything in here. So let's give this a whirl. Um... So let's drop the iron. Where do we drop the iron? Not in there? Okay, we do. Let's turn it on. Okay, so we're drawing half. It's got it's a laser. Oh, look at that. I'm going to get blind looking at this thing. That's cool. Okay, so this, I see. So the laser is probably, that's what's going to break it into these fragments, I guess. I'm really curious how many we get. We've got eight um, in there right now. So I'm, I'm super curious what we get total. Uh, an additional slot to refine ore. Oh, that's cool. So you can do two at a time. Um, I guess you can do two of those so that you have three. Increased power efficiency. Okay, cool. So this is interesting. Something that sits here and just runs um, the power down. 29, 28. It is ticking down. That's cool. I know we can do solar panels as well. Um, so we are getting in this 0.33, but going out is half right now. So we're losing more than we're gaining uh, by running this guy. 
Um, one thing I don't see is the heat icon on the bottom right, which kind of makes sense now that I know that this is a laser. Um, okay, so it's one to one. One ore for one fragment. Okay, I was kind of hoping for more. Maybe like a one to two would have been nice. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll, we'll take that. Um, we definitely need quite a bit of this. So I that's going to be a thing. I definitely need to start gathering more of that. Now I should have been doing that, but I've really been focusing on some of the other materials. Um, but that's a thing now. I'm going to definitely be gathering more of the metals, knowing that it's one to one. It's going to take me a little bit to build that up. So one or two of you in the comments mentioned uh, that I might try the pickaxe. Uh, I went ahead and made one, and um, it works really well, surprisingly. No, <laughs> not surprisingly at all. It um, definitely gets you more material. Uh, basically, uh, at the halfway point, then when you complete it, uh, before I was getting one and then one. So two ore every time. Now I'm getting three and two, or three and three. So it worked out pretty well. Um, I did gather some iron and a couple other uh, resources as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop the iron in here since that's kind of what I'm working on now. So that's 17 more fragments. That's pretty good. Power's coming up. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on um, and let that do its thing because it's kind of a slower paced thing. I also gathered a few other things as well while I was out there. Uh, nice little run because I was looking at some things in here and thinking uh, man this stuff I could actually start doing some of this stuff so we need power to be above 500 and above 100 here in order to make some of the things that we want to make and the way to do that is to get the, the storage going so I was looking at this and we're actually not far off you can see I actually have the materials here uh, to do the power storage and the mass storage is pretty straightforward as well the only thing I'm kind of low on is the wood but um, that's very easy. In fact, I should have got more while I was out there. But obviously, very, very easy to do. Um, and we have to wait for this power anyway, especially because I'm burning fragments. Now, come to think of it, I am burning fragments, and they're not really helping go towards the storage, which is what I want to make next. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Um, let's go ahead and turn that off, because we're really not in a rush for that right now. What I want to do is get that power going. Um, let's just drop all the metal back into here. Fragments and stuff, that's fine. Um, and you. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to get some more wood. We are really close to making like a lot of cool stuff. I was looking through here, uh, including the workbench even. I was like, oh, I've got the scrap metal, and I'm close on the wood. So it's just the power. So I think that's next, is we go, we go the storage for both power types, and then we can do the workbench. So that's that's the order of things for me right now that's kind of the plan but um anyway we're going to get into that next time i do want to thank you guys for watching as always and i hope you come back and check out the next one